As you work through Procare, there are various places where you'll encounter the Print button. One of those, for example, is in the contract billing summary for an account. When we click the money bag at the top of the screen, we'll see a summary for the billing that will occur for this account by cycle, weekly or monthly. Down at the bottom, I have the Print button. When I click the Print button, I'll get a graphical representation right here on the screen of the contents of that information for this particular account. I'll click the uh, magnifier button right here and then just click on the content and this will show me on the screen a little blown up view of that particular information in a simple grid format. From here I can choose to save the document to a location on my computer. I could print it by clicking uh, quick print or if I'd like to choose print and change the printer settings maybe send it to a different printer. I could choose that. I could also export this document to a PDF file format and if I wanted to I could email it. If I choose email, which I'll go ahead and do, this will automatically prompt me to save it as a PDF file first. I can select certain page ranges or leave these by default to just print the page I'm on right now. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Click OK and then it's going to give me the opportunity here to save my document to a location. So I'm going to call this the Adams account summary and I'm going to save it to the desktop and when I do that then I will get an email window that opens up right here where I can put in a message for the Adams account and send him his account summary and then click send. And that's how you'd send a print report as an email to one of your parents or payers. Another example would be to uh, perhaps look at employees information and you might want to look at their benefits. Any place where you, you see the print button you can do this same function for whatever happens to be on the screen at that time. So for example I'm right now in the planned benefits tab for this employee. I'd like to go to the used benefits and I'd like to get a printout of those used benefits. Once again, I just want to zoom in and make sure I've got the right thing. That's exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the email, accept the defaults on that screen, and once again, save it to a document. And I'll call it Mary Anderson Benefits. Save that and now I can email it to Mary Anderson. You could also print it right here by clicking the print button as we said before. You can customize how this tool works if you'd like to change the header or the footer. If you'd like to preview it differently, you can change the background. You can play with a lot of these colors here. You can put in a watermark if you have a logo that you'd like to print on the uh, document as a watermark. You could do that and these are quick buttons to get to the header and footer change. You can rescale this to fit everything on one page if you'd like. So you have a fair amount of options here under the file menu. You can export it to any of these type of documents. PDF is the default and send to an email. Again you can send it as any of those type of documents there. So this is a very good little tool to print out specific information that you're working with on the screen and it differs from our normal reports button in that we don't use filters or grouping on those because you're working with a specific person's information at that time. And that's how the print button reports work.